Hey guys, welcome to week number three of the Reddit League. So Schmingo is still in holiday, so the rankings are not updated yet, but that should happen in the next days, I think. Um, yeah, if you want to see the standings, um, check out the GeoGuessr Esports channel. They are they made the standings for the video there. Um, but I can tell you that I've won against Benica. I think he had the worst score out of the whole division, scoring I think below 10,000 points. Um, yeah, so I have two wins now, so I should be approximately at the top, at least in the top four. Um, so I think because Benica records his game, this game might be on the GeoGuessr Esports channel. Um, so check that out if you want to see the comparison one by one. Um, so yeah, but I'm not sure. Maybe if they have enough games, they're not going to broadcast it because it was such a clear game. But yeah, I'm definitely very curious to watch it to see what he may did wrong or how he did not find anything. Or I don't know that it's an incredible low score. So this week we play Lakes of the World and we play against who? I always forget who I'm playing. Uh, oh, it's Polyboss or Odd Boca. Hmm, that might be, that might be tough. Not sure where he stands exactly, but um, more or less, yeah, it could be tough. So yeah. Didn't practice it, didn't even check out the map. I heard some things about it, but I don't think it helps much. So, yeah, let's see. Um, is there anything else? No, I don't think so. So let's try my best. Oh, there's a lake west. This looks like South Africa. Bethlehem. I've heard that before. Warden. Isn't Warden... Hmm. Where was it again? There's Warden. Bethlehem. Yeah, Bethlehem is big. So I'm on the R57 here. And I'm reaching the 714 if I go here. So is this the lake? Probably, right? Because I'm so close to the intersection. Mm hmm so there is a curve where is this road here this is actually wait I go north oh wait is it what is this the lake I'm confused now I'm confused wait no I go south here is the curve yeah the, the, the. so it should be here but where is this road I cannot see it right now, but so I'm like at rather the northern end that of the thing. So if I go south, it, oh, here is the road. Yeah, so a little bit south. Of course, the lake doesn't is not exact. Uh, so we have to kind of estimate. But yeah, this sh could be good enough, right? Let's see. One click, two clicks. Wait, that's not the road. The road is super close, right? Yeah, so we should be approximately here. Okay. Surprisingly, yeah, way further. But yeah, that could be it as well. Depending how full the lake is. So good enough for 5,000. That was a very easy round. If you go that direction at least. Oh, this might be harder. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, okay. No baiting. And this is a lake, interesting. It looks like the coast. So somewhere in France, probably. Uh, 
Les rives du lac. Maybe that's a town name, but it could just mean something. Yeah, I think we're on the southwest coast. But not sure. Camping, la pizza du lac, I don't know. Lac Dorian. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Orb? What is orb again? Mm, damn, I don't know it. I thought it's here somewhere, but... Maybe this bay? But then it's not a lake. So, I don't know. I don't know. I need to move faster, not waste time, if I don't know it. Is orb a, de a department? I'm not sure anymore. It sounds so familiar. Could also be a river, maybe, but... Brevon, Pinet, let's quickly look if it's here. No, probably not. Um, there's another lake there. I can only go here. Yeah, maybe it's good, actually, to go here. Tough round, man. It's so. It's quite rural for France. Definitely feels touristic with those lakes. I'm not sure what vibe I'm getting from these trees. I think I'm too far south on the map, but it's really tough. Yeah, I need to find a direction sign with at least like a big town on it so I can identify the region at least because this is a problem. We've seen area codes 6 and 9. Uh, 6 and 3 I mean. So that is very confusing. These are not close to each other I think. Three should be either northwest or northeast. Yeah, now it feels much more northern somehow, but still not really. No, I mean no, no, not not with the architecture here. So I'm really confused. I think we could be close to a coast, but I'm not convinced. Maybe we are in that approximate region that I thought, but yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Dienville, I don't know. Epagne. Epagne. Wait, that means Spain, right? So I'm going down here. Maybe here. I don't know. Uh, Radon Villiers. Hmm. No, that was just a troll. It's here. It, it is a natural park, but there's Pinet, there's Prevon. Hmm. This is a huge lake here. It's a reservoir. East of Troyes. Hmm, how could I have solved this? I don't even think going the other way would have helped a lot. Because there's only small towns here. I mean, maybe west, maybe we would have found Troyes and that would have been good. Yeah, going somewhat east definitely will not give us that. Unless, I mean, here it could, could have said go west for Troyes, right? But it didn't. So, yeah, tough round. I got France. That's not good. That's a lot of points. Because even if someone doesn't know and puts it in the middle, that's a lot of points gained compared to me. So, yeah, people got 5k here as well. I didn't. Uh, Peru? I'm not sure. Oh, Jesus. 
<sighs> Could it be Turkey as well? There's white line. These black bollards, I don't know. I'm not sure. We have signs on the right. Is it Chile? I don't know. Maybe this sign helps. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it's English. Interesting. Why? Why is there English here? Oh, the road ends here. Okay. Wait, is it? Is it Kyrgyzstan? Jeez, I don't... I don't remember having seen this this bollard in Kyrgyzstan, but it could be. It would make sense. But seeing English in Kyrgyzstan, I think even less likely than uh, in Russia. Jesus, I'm so insecure now. I mean, Russia, this dry. With heels like this. Jeez. I'm not sure if I've seen that ever. So I'm leaning Kyrgyzstan. Yeah, I mean, this feels very much like it. Oh, yeah, I think so, right? Yeah, there's Narin and Torugard and Bal Bal Balikshi. So Narin is here. So which is it? This one? Hmm. Ooh, these numbers, they are not here as far as I know. So we need to work with the town names. We know Narin, but where's Torugat? I feel like I've heard that before. Well, it says Narin West. This says 364, but it's A, and we don't have A. And it's not easy cool, right? Because that looks different. Unless it's a super weird spot. There's no... There is a road here. Oh, this is really tough. I need to go back and look at the shape because I cannot find it. Uh, the lake is east. It has such a delta kind of thing. Oh my god, this is not good. Maybe here? This has also a delta. Mountains over here. It c could it be here? Wait. I could also be here. I don't know. I'm confused. Ah, it's such a small one. Damn. I'm so bad at this map, apparently. So, where is all that stuff? There's Balikshi. Oh no. And where's Tokto? What was it? I don't know the other, but yeah. It's an R in West or East, I don't know. But yeah, either is not correct, really. Hmm tough one it will be hard to win this game i think especially i went for the edge of the country again and it, it didn't pay off a second time in a row so that's a lot of points lost for kind of like easy countries even though this was surprisingly confusing maybe this round can save me i need more points 
Ooh, this looks like Brazil now. It was kind of my first thought as well, but it looked a little bit different, but now it feels like the northeast of Brazil. Maybe this can save me. Yeah, definitely is. I think. Lo Lonyaduro, I don't know. Something like that, maybe. My favorite part of Brazil, because it's so wild. But it's hard to find anything. But if I can find anything, that might give me the victory. Who knows? So I need to click fast, because there's not much going on. No, going northwest now. There wasn't much of a lake where I started, but maybe it's on the map. Oh, Tocantins. Tocantins West. Yeah, of course. I mean, what is here? Mm. Ah, man. So hard to read. To Rio Grande do Norte. Mm, but where? I mean,. Lake, lake with coverage in Rio Grande do Norte. Uh, Carajas and Plan Alto. Can I find these? I'm not sure, kind of scared. That it mentions Tocantins even makes me think we're rather in the western part of the state. I don't know. Maybe there's more information if we're really lucky. So the road is going northwest. That is true here, but I don't think it's there. It doesn't make sense at all. But there's quite a few lakes in this region of uh, Rio Grande do Norte. There is water here. It looks like a river. Huh, this is interesting. But it's not. It is a lake. Quite a long one, maybe. Here it starts again. So weird. What? I'm confused. Jeez, look at that. It's so flat. Posada Praia da Pedra Grande Porto. Uh, I don't know, man. Can't see anything here. Moving it a little bit further inland. Just in case. Just. Ah, it is north, man. The Porto do Domang. Man, I didn't think we're close to the coast, but yeah, this. It happens sometimes. So I reached here. And Porto. I didn't see that. If I would have seen Porto twice, I probably would have considered the coast. But I was a little bit mm, un unsure about it because maybe, I mean, Porto means port, but I thought maybe it could also be the port of the lake or I don't know. Another 300 points that costs me. Where is all those town names? You can always try to learn something. Uh, but I mean, it says to canteens here, so why does it do that? That is nowhere near. Maybe it just wants to say west. <laughs> this, these signs were confusing. This might be a whole different to canteens. So, round five, we need something good, I think. 
hard location could be oh it's Bangladesh uh oh oh boy okay I remember my strategy from practicing that but <laughs> not like that works a lot it's Bangladesh yeah lake in Bangladesh really helpful but maybe this could be the round that helps me to win uh, I doubt I can remember reading the Bengali numbers probably forgot them wait is this yeah this is Bangladesh right oh Jesus Oh, what can you do here? Could it be somewhere else? Don't think so. Those are definitely the Bengali numbers. Yeah, maybe those signs can help. No. Man. I'm not sure if I should, uh, if I find nothing, if I should save bet or risk at, a, at the side of a country. I think I have to. I have to I have to risk something because I don't think I'm gonna win by skill I need to win by luck this time these locations were all pretty easy and I lost so many points going the wrong side of the country so I'm now forced to guess on the side of the country I think otherwise I cannot win fitness zone 77 well Facebook oh man jeez hmm There is area codes, but oh, now we reach the main road. Maybe it helps. There is quite a bit of English, so I think this is just going to be duck car. But I think zone seventy seven is that a duck car thing? Uh. Is there zones like that? I don't know. Um, we can guess Ratshahi, maybe. I doubt it's gonna be that, but who knows? Hmm. So annoying, this country is such a pain. Ah. Oh, maybe, maybe, no. Oh, it, oh, I should have guessed Rangpur. But I'm not sure if this country is big enough to actually make a difference. Oh, but this would have been so good if I guess here. That's like very northwest part. So if he guesses Dhaka, not Dakar, I said Dakar before. <laughs> uh, yeah, then that's at least a little bit of points, but let's see if he's already played. I think we lost that 2,600 points on such a seed is way too much lost. Yeah, I'm definitely rather on the lower end. Calamity is too interesting for once we both suck and do I not see him or he didn't play he didn't play I guess 
Interesting that I do so terrible on a world map, but yeah, really curious to see some some games of the, on the esports channel about this seed. How can you solve these rounds? How can you find the regions? Brazil. Well, maybe this round can actually help me. Maybe that in combination with here. No, not here. Here. Maybe this can help me. But it takes a lot. Like I lost the France round was especially troubling. So w what is the area codes in France again? Let me check area codes France. Uh, no, we had three and three is northeast. And I also saw a six and but that must have been in mobile or something. So yeah, I guess I really deserve it for not knowing that. I knew three is north at least, but I wasn't sure because I thought I saw six. I thought it's south, but southeast is four, and cor course is also four, and southwest is five. And there's no six. That might just be mobile, yeah. So, um, pretty bad. <laughs> I haven't played the world map in a while. Maybe, maybe, yeah, I'm not used to playing world maps anymore. And I actually wanted to have one little warm-up game before that, before this one, but I kind of had to reschedule things, so I did not end up doing that. But yeah, that's it. Probably the first loss, but we'll see. He still has to play him. Brazil can save me, maybe. So next week we have Iceland against against WTF so he has I think two losses um, before now and he has a really good score here so maybe he's also a world map player so maybe I can beat him but Iceland is probably one of my least favorite countries to play against someone 1v1 because yeah it's gonna be a lot of pinpointing and yeah I do not have much, that much time next week, probably. But I have to somehow at least get in a few rounds. And that should be somehow possible for sure. Um, I played one round so far, but um, and I've noticed there is some, some roads that end because coverage is broken. So that at least makes it a little bit more interesting in my opinion. Um, yeah, and it is nice that it's a small country that has different kind of landscapes, a little bit at least. Um, so that could be helpful to practice. But yeah, I'm really scared if I if I practice a lot, it will not help me at all. So um, yeah, but maybe I should look at. Um, WTF's scores before uh, maybe see if he's re if he had really bad scores at the at the country um, challenges then maybe it's really worth trying it practice hard but yeah uh, practicing hard will definitely not happen next week but yeah so yeah that's it for this time see you in Iceland Bring a good jacket. Bye-bye.